Today we'll cover the DA Form 104R Planned Academic Program Worksheet. This is a brief tutorial or overview that will help assist you in creating your academic plan through graduation. Here at the top left of the form we have the name of the student, last name, first name, middle initial, the academic major, today we're going to use business administration, the CIP code which you can get from a senior or returning cadet or one of the cadre members at your campus, the academic school, University of Southern California, that is the host program, and here's the FICE, you can also get from one of the representatives at the school. For credit hours, you can click between semester or quarter depending on what type of school or which school you attend. Here it's the total required for a degree, and without getting into great detail on the NAPS, this is basically just a course breakdown, a credit breakdown of transfer credits, uh, credits toward the degree, credits from ROTC, but ultimately it's this bottom number that really matters, the number of authorized semesters or quarters. That determines how many semesters or quarters you have until graduation, so the Army can plan on how many officers it will have at that time. Before moving on to the rest of this form, I'd like to show you how to find your academic plan based on the major you choose. For USC Business Administration, I'm going to I'm going to go back to the catalog 2015-2016. You can see here that it has the different, different groups, but I'm going to use the USC Marshall School of Business. I'm going to go to undergraduate degrees. And about halfway down the page, it has a complete breakdown from freshman to senior year, year one USC, and it has the classes you need even broken down by semesters, year two, year three, and year four. This is where you get the classes to fill in the 104R, and every major you pick is inside the academic catalog. To find your military science classes, you can go to the USC Price School of Public Policy, down to the Courses of Instruction for Public Policy, then Military Courses of Instruction, and then military science, and this is broken down for all the military science classes that you'll need to put in your 104R based on the year that you're attending. Now I'm going to go back to the DA Form 104R and scroll down a little bit. These first ones didn't come out well, but I'll go to the second page to use as an example. Here you can see you have the term, whether it's fall, spring. If you're a quarter system, this would be fall, winter, and spring. And then you have the number. This is the course number. You can see BUAD 311. The course title is Operations Management. And then the hours, credits, and later once you pass or complete these courses, you can put the grade. Here, the total terms are hours or credits. And then what this fillable PDF does is it automatically fill, fills up the NAPS that I showed you in the beginning. You'll do this for all the courses until graduation. So you can see here fall, spring, and it's following the same suit all the way through. Fall, spring, fall, spring. If you're planning on taking summer courses, ROTC does not cover summer courses, but you can put it on there to show that you're covering certain classes. Once you fill out all your classes and you add all the classes required for your degree and you add all your military science classes, you need to get it reviewed by a returning cadet, a senior cadet, or a cadre member. And then once the cadre member or senior cadet approves it, then you need to take it to your, uh, your registrar office or examiner of credentials and have them sign it. Once they sign and come back, then you can have the PMS sign and it makes the 104R official. This has been a brief overview of the DA Form 104R. I hope you found it beneficial. If you have any further questions regarding your academic plan, or any questions regarding the DA Form 104R, please contact your cadre member or a senior cadet at your program.